What's up guys? We're down here at Frankie's Syringe Meat. Usually I feel like I'm falling apart. This week <laughs> I actually am falling apart. Between the eye surgery I had a few days ago and uh, my uh, short-term memory brain going in my tanning bed for way too long, I am basically half of a burn victim. It, I, you guys might have seen the... I was so bad like yesterday I came down here for like half an hour and then I just laid in my bed the rest of the day so... <laughs> It, it could, it, things could be going a little better, but um, we got a lot of new things to show you guys this week. I'm excited to show you the, the fresh beef shares that are shipping out, the, the quarter beefs that a few people ordered. Uh, brand new products, as usual. Uh, we are giving away collagen broth free with every order this week. So if you guys want free collagen broth, $10, $15 value, highest quality, most gelatinous broth you will ever buy comes free with every order this week. That's what we're giving away. And uh, you guys that saw the, uh, the eye surgery vlog last week heard me complain about a guy that won an $850 chargeback. So, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just so disgusted at how, you know, the, these corporations and banks treat small business owners because, you know, I, I'm getting screwed over on every end. And then, uh, you know, to top it all off, I'm getting shadow banned and censored on top of everything else. So, if you guys could support me in any way possible, whether that means, you know, placing a little larger order or just telling your friends about my stuff, it's, it's whatever. But uh, we're sticking it out. And hey, look, all you guys that file chargebacks, Google your name in about two months and you'll see the lawsuit. So and then, when an employer or job prospect or, or whatever when someone googles your name they're gonna see you in a lawsuit that you stole money from me so hey no no one's no one's reached out to me to to make uh remediations and give me my money back so that's what we're gonna have to do we'll sue the people first that filed the chargebacks if not we'll sue the banks i don't really care uh i'm just over it at this point it's too much money they're not the, the these elite corporations are high I, they're not technically elite corporations i i can't name who they are but basically people are being hired to maliciously place orders on my business. Uh, let me word that better. Place orders fraudulently on my business with malicious intent to file chargebacks. And, you know, it's, I, 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 just, I don't know what to do about it because the delivery proof is there. Bank, it's, it's I'm beyond disgusted. $850, guys, like that much money for someone to file a chargeback on. Like I'm down here killing myself all week just to have some scumbag do that to me. It's, it's beyond disgusting, so. We also have uh, an email to read from a Karen, which was completely ridiculous. So uh, I don't want to read that now because it's a little long. But when we go to read the reviews later, I'll, re I'll read the Karen email first. So if you guys want to he hear the ridiculous harassment I get via email of people trying to solicit refunds, that's not just obvious chargebacks, you'll get to hear a little bit of that. But uh, let's hobble around. And my legs hurt so bad yesterday. I was just laying in bed all day. Now that they still hurt pretty bad. If, if I stay completely still, I'm okay, but lesson learned. I think anything more than 10 minutes in that tanning bed with the strength of those bulbs is just dangerous. So uh, we should feel better in a day or two though. I should be able to, to walk reasonably because I feel like a cripple, like just anything now. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm walking really slow. Normally I'd be like, you know, I'd be fine, but the, the skin on my whole body is just like, it's so burned. Like any sort of contact with even fabric or lightly touching is just, is really painful. But I had to come down here today and do a few hours of work because yesterday uh, and the day of the surgery, I wasn't, I wasn't down here, but that's what you get for signing up as a business owner. My guys have been working incredibly hard this week. They made a lot of the quinoa crisp. A uh, few you guys emailed me because we were out of stock of these, but Quinoa crisp bars are now back available. We made the Tatomi's bars and the meat granola last week. We still have best bars even though my guys are making some more. Uh, but what is technically a new product here is we got the beef tallow in the bigger jars now. So yeah, we got these huge 32 ounce, two pound beef tallow jars for $25, which is the best price online, uh, you know, per pound for beef tallow. So if you guys want this, jarred in glass high quality 100 percent grass-fed rendered beef tallow now a little more affordable even though you know our, our eight ounce tallow was was still incredibly affordable uh 
you know, this is still like one of the cheapest towels online. That's just a slightly better deal for a higher volume of product. Over here, we restocked plenty of the natural collagen. Uh, the whey protein is now in the larger three pound tubs. Uh, not three pound, I'm sorry. These are one and a half pound tubs. And then back here in the dungeon, we have a product that you guys would probably never guess is jarred apples. So we bought some organic Honeycrisp apples, uh, sent them to some of my Amish buddies, and they preserve them in mineral water and organic glucose. So, I mean, there's really very little sugar in these. I just had an idea for the product. I thought we could do them. I tasted them. They're pretty delicious, nice and fresh. But, uh, you know, the main thing is this is, you know, the, really the only high quality product that you can eat that doesn't have downsides you know the stuff in the supermarket you got the can lining you know what type of water did they make it with what well, this is glass jars we use the we sent them the the fuji Fairlow mineral water to jar it with and then we use the organic glucose as the healthiest form of sugar but honestly guys i, I tried these they're not i wouldn't even call them sweet but they're nice crisp and refreshing and uh pretty convenient Right now, the, the large jars are $12 and the small jars are $8. I'm going to see if I can reduce the price when uh, the rest of them come in to figure out how much money I spent all in. Because, you know, I try to get you guys stuff affordably, but if I'm going broke, you know, I, gotta, I, gotta, I can't give everything away. Although I wish I could. All right, so let's hop in the fridge, show you guys some stuff. Uh, just real quick, guys, I'm doing a... Uh, a uh, really good price on the fresh beef steaks. These are uh, bone and ribeye and bone and porterhouse. There's only like 20 of each. They're only $16 a pound. So under the fresh beef share, there's some bone and ribeye and porterhouse for $16 a pound. If you guys want to grab these, uh, they'll probably be sold out by the end of the day. Uh, Cause you know, sometimes you guys just don't buy the fresh beef share. So uh, we're just trying to, to move them. Uh, we ran out of cookie dough last week, but my guys made a fresh batch. And here are the quarter beefs that are shipping out. Uh, I actually recorded us packing them up earlier, so I'll show you guys that clip now. Just wanted to show you guys real quick, we're here packing up the whole beef shares in the fridge. This is actually five people who each ordered a quarter beef, but we only did one, so we split it into five parts. Here on top, we got a bunch of brisket. There's some eye round rows and then Underneath here is about like maybe 40 pounds of ground beef per person. So basically evenly distribute everything on the whole cow. So we got ground beef in there, eye round roast, brisket. Now we're doing the steaks. We got some ribeyes going in here. And then we have miscellaneous organs, mostly liver. We got some T-bone steaks. We got some ribs, some skirt steaks, and some chuck roast. Yeah, do the, uh, let's do the T-bone next. Yeah, so these are going to ship out Monday. Uh, would love it if some of you guys who ordered this whole beef can do like an unboxing video or, or send me some pictures because it looks really, really good. Skirt steaks here. This is how we cut the beef ribs. Meat looks really good. Yeah, we got some good looking steaks. Nice porterhouse. So that's the fresh beef share, guys. This is an idea of the amount of meat you're gonna get. Uh, it's 96 pounds per order for this batch. So these people ordered a quarter beef. They would have probably got 120 pounds, but uh, the cow we'd add a little less at 96 pounds. Yeah, so those people paid a $415 deposit, or like a $412 deposit for a quarter beef. And then I billed them I think each of them paid about another $450 because I billed them based off of uh, the meat price per pound. I did not bill them on the hanging weight. I got a little screwed over because the cow was 1,200 pounds but only yielded like 450 pounds of meat. So uh, I, I, I might be breaking even to be honest, but that's why I wanted to do this. You know, I don't want, I want people to be able to buy quarter beef, whatever, without having to worry about the cow weighing out. So I'm basically the one getting screwed here by whatever this, uh, this farmer or butcher is doing. But hopefully you guys like this, it works out okay. And, uh, and we can maybe do, you know, one or two cows a week moving forward. And then when I get my own farm and processing plants, uh, I don't know, I'll, 
probably be completely crazy by that point. You guys will there'll be fucking three Brazilian girls following me around. One will be holding the camera. But yeah, so all that fresh beef came in from the farm this week as well as the, the raw dairy. So we have a lot of sheep milk. We got some sheep kefir, a lot of regular kefir, a lot of milk. All this guys comes in fresh every week, not frozen. We ship it out. There's the fresh, never frozen shipping option on the website. All the cream, cream cheese, yogurt, everything's restocked here. I wasn't too happy with the water kefir, so I threw it all out, but uh, so I don't know when we'll have some back. Yeah, there were some inconsistencies with the batch. Uh, you know, sometimes the grains just, just don't go that well. And like, I'm losing my mind, guys. I'm, I'm trying to keep quality control and everything, but it's, uh, it's not easy to say the least. I showed you guys this last week, uh, the prosciutto and Iberico ham. Uh, we have them very thin with slices of parchment paper between each piece so you uh, can have them nice and easily. This is just some uh, sirloin tip. We're gonna make some fajita meat with this to replace the shaved beef. Yeah, those people paid about $8 a pound for fresh beef shipped to their door. Like all cuts, ground beef, steaks, roast and stuff. So now in the freezer, we got a few new things as well. So this is what you guys are getting free with every order this week. Our gelatinous collagen broth. Uh, I guess this is a pretty big deal. We have uh, beef blood fertilizer available. Uh, this blood is, you know, it's in the freezer, it's coagulated. Um, so I don't know what you guys want to use this for. Uh, it's only $5 a jar. Uh, next week, uh, hopefully we can keep it liquid and maybe we'll keep it in the fridge. Uh, yeah, I think it's $5 a jar on the website. I don't think it's $6.50 like that says. Way too much pet food. You guys have been buying it though. Uh, we got a new ice cream flavor. This is basically chocolate chip cookie dough. So we took our vanilla ice cream and added some cookie dough to it. Uh, so let me know how you guys like that. We did stock up on plenty of lamb for Easter. So we have bone-in lamb legs and we have these nice cute like two pound boneless lamb legs. And all of this is lamb chops. So we got a pretty good price on some lamb chops from our distributor. So if you guys want, I think they're six ounce or 10 ounce lamb chops. Very, very affordable. A lot of you guys were asking for the lamb chops to come back. Uh, this is what I ended up getting for you guys. Yeah, let me get out of here before I start dying. Uh, so we got, yeah, so we got, uh, we got beef blood, we got lamb. My brain is not working today. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's a little hard to, to focus when uh, your legs feel like they're being pushed through a thorn bush. I'm gonna go over to my office because I need to sit down. I mean, I've said it a lot of times to you guys, you know, most business owners are in the club and they will do anything in their power to steal as much business and destroy businesses that are not in the club. And especially in these economic times, they don't like seeing Frankie Boy doing better than them because of his integrity, but go figure. So first time customer orders five of the raw cookie dough, sends us an email. I want a refund for all the cookie dough. No instructions and no customer service. No expiration. If no answer or communication, I will dispute this charge in full. Sincerely. And then I, I responded, like, this is the first time I've ever gotten a complaint about this cookie dough. And she sent me a picture where she clearly overcooked them. And so I said, we're not responsible for customers incorrectly preparing the cookies. There have not been any such complaints about the product except your own. So... The main reason I said that was because I recognize the pattern of aggression. You know, usually uh, customers like me and they're nice about it. And the other red flag was that this was a first time customer. You know, if, if this wasn't a first time customer, I would have just issued the refund, no questions asked. But the fact that they ordered five of the cookie dough and they want it's it's pretty evident they're trying to harass me. And then they proceed to escalate. I am not responsible for cooking something that has no instructions whatsoever. Here you are responding to my email and not giving any instructions either. You have no phone number and you have no instructions on your website there. All right, so basically that we're going back and forth complaining. That uh, Basically, and then what, the reason I'm reading this is because 
<laughs> this is what these people do. She goes, I'm assuming it's a Karen. I will take you to the Better Business Bureau as well. I will call the Secretary of State and write a letter in Pennsylvania on your business. Talk to me about fraud again. <laughs> and then I go to her. Please be sure to tell the Better Business Bureau and Secretary of State that you burned your cookies and were upset that the vendor did not issue a refund. So <laughs> I just had enough of this, bro. I just I just gave her her money back for the cookies, and I'm going to sue her in that lawsuit coming up. So when they get their papers, they'll fucking know they shouldn't have pissed me off because I've had enough of this. But it's just it's it's ridiculous, dude. It's ridiculous. I'm getting people. The fir first customer ever, it's the, the, the length these people will go to harass me in my business. It's just, it's completely comical, dude. It's completely comical. It's, it's utterly ridiculous. And I'll say it again. If any customers ever have any issue with an order, usually it's a, ref it's a refund, no questions asked. But it's literally an organized group of people placing first-time orders and, and filing chargebacks and harassing me through, through ridiculous shit. But anyway... That's what I have to deal with every day. We got some reviews, which I don't even feel like reading, to be honest, but... Might as well. Five-star review for the grass-fed ribeye package. Amazing quality. This is our first time buying from Frankie, and we absolutely love the quality of the meat. We'll most definitely be buying again. We love supporting small businesses who are offering organic grass-fed, grass-finished beef. Thank you, Frankie. Yeah, I mean, just, just keep in mind, like... When you guys are buying from other businesses, chances are, and not chances are, it's almost, it's 99% chance, you are supporting the same people who are hiring other people to harass my business. So, be aware. Be aware. Got a five-star review for the pemmican. Very good pemmican. Almost has the taste and texture of a cookie. Yeah, that's the, uh, we have the pemmican and a lot of other nutritional bars available, guys, on, on the frankiesfreeinchfoods.com website. And we got a five-star review for the chocolate chip granola bar. Best granola bar out there. This is the highest quality granola bar at the fairest price. Frankie does it all. Yeah, I mean, if you go to the supermarket, you try to buy an organic granola bar that's like two fifty or three dollars each, which is a little cheaper than ours. But they're using like they're using such low-quality, crappy ingredients. It's crazy. Like my profit margin on those bars is probably uh well I. I don't know how to word this because my brain's not working, but let me, I bet you these guys are spending like, their ingredient cost is probably, you know, five or 10% of what they're selling the product for, whereas my ingredient cost is over 50%. So I'm spending a lot of money on very high quality ingredients and I'm charging a similar price. If they, if they were using the same quality of ingredients that I was, they'd be charging like $7 a bar. No joke. Five star view for the pasture raised chicken eggs. Free range eggs. Frankie's free range eggs far exceed my expectations. The yolks are vibrant orange, tasty, and fresh. Uh, speaking of eggs, we should hopefully have some duck eggs finally coming in next week, but he doesn't have like a crazy amount, and you guys have wanted them, so they'll probably just sell out really quick. Another five star review for the pemmican. The plain and blueberry ones are good on their own ways. The plain version is more crumbly and salty and basically becomes gummy as it's chewed. To me, it's the more filling of the two. The blueberry one is more held together, presumably by the honey, and is more palatable but slightly less filling in my opinion. Both are extremely satiating. I can make two or three last an entire day if I'm determined. Also, every pemmican order I've made has gone well, so I'm not sure what these one-star trolls are on about. Yeah, I mean... I said earlier, like, if you if you guys can support me in any way possible, what I should have said was, hey, you know, just leave a review on Google, leave me some good reviews, because not only are these people, like, harassing my business, filing fraudulent chargebacks, emailing me, they're also leaving negative reviews uh, on, on the business page, which is, uh, will be included in the upcoming federal lawsuit as soon as my eyes start working. Five-star review for the grass fed and like i don't mean like i'm losing my mind guys like the fact that i have to run a business and deal with all this harassment mo i i can't think of i don't know of anyone that has ever existed that has had to deal with so much crap you know normally when you have a business and you're doing well and you're making money you have a nice family life you have a social life you're doing other things guys i got fucking nothing i'm losing my fucking mind down here every day like dealing with this dog shit five-star review for grassroot ribeye package 
Why do these taste so great? Perfect for carnivore. For health reasons, I recently cycled into the carnivore diet to shed fat and give my digestion a break from irritants. That requires a lot of grass-fed steak to not waste away. Yeah, we definitely have the best price online for all the steaks. Then we got a, a five-star review for the Frankie's Liver Detox Smoothie, which is available on organsupplements.com. Tastes great. Detox smoothie tastes good. I like to put a few of the glandular organ powders mixed in with the smoothie to disguise the taste. Yeah, I don't know about that, buddy. Uh, I would just have them separately, but as long as you enjoy it. We got a five-star review for the chicken eggs. The best, no soy, no corn equals smallest amount of linoleic acid. The very bad polyunsaturated fatty acid that is a large contributor to our metabolic diseases. If people only understood how much better these eggs are for us than big food, mass-produced and fed alternatives, no better, do better, source better. Thank you, Frankie. Yeah, that reminds me, there's so many, like, form fresh and local businesses online that, like, they're selling meat and stuff, but they're very indescript about the quality of the product. Um, like, there was this, I'm not going to name them, but there's, like, a cattle company that's just selling, said they're selling feedlot grain-fed beef, you know, online. Yeah, but they're just industry. They they always use like, oh, we're local family farm. Buy our feedlot beef. It's actually despicable, but go figure. Five star review for the organic raw sauerkraut, lacto fermented, fresh, superior texture and flavor. You can taste the freshness. Yeah, guys, I'm working really hard on all these uh, all these products. So I'm glad you guys enjoy them. We got an email. Frank, that liverworks is absolutely phenomenal. Steaks are fantastic as well. Trying the hot dogs tomorrow. Yeah, well, too bad we're out of liverworks now. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get some more next week. Oh, we got another review. Five-star review for the beef liverworks and Scrapple. The liverworks tastes amazing. I literally had to spit it out because I thought it was seasoned. Stretch carnivore here. Turns out the liverworks is just beef and salt. Wow. Yeah, as I said, too too bad I gave it all away <laughs> last week because you guys weren't buying it. Uh, five star view for the grass fed marrow oil. Have not had anything like it. An underrated product. You only need a little salt. Marrow will add extra flavor to food. Not that expensive if you only use a. I mean, it's it's pure rendered fat. It's like it's so calorically dense, you know. I mean, if you wanted to make that yourself. Oh, we got another review for the marrow oil. My favorite. I've been making this exact product on my own for a few months before Frankie started to produce it. The labor it takes to roast and pressure cook the bones, remove the marrow from bones, adequately strain the oils, is time consuming. This product is perfection and the price is more than fair. Please never stop making this, Frankie. It's my favorite thing you produce. Well, if I end up in a Russian princess's dungeon in Moscow in three months, no one's going to make the marrow oil for you guys. Uh, we got a five star review for the collagen bone broth beef stock. Collagen concentrate. It was so good, I drank it almost immediately once thawed and at room temp. I've tried those vital protein collagen powders, and this blows that out of the water. Delicious, too. Like chicken noodle soup. Carnivore friendly. I'm going to have to buy more of these or figure out how to make it this good. Holy shit, dude. I'm a fucking... I'm a fucking roasted chicken, dude. I can't fucking move. Fire star review for the best bar. These, including the pemmican, are what I was looking for. Exactly what I was looking for. Great carry food for my travels. We'll be a repeat customer. Thanks. Five star review for the organic cannellini beans. We don't really talk about a lot of these products too much. Available on the foods website. These jarred cannellini beans taste better than canned. Question Frank. Outside of white beans, what would be the next healthiest bean option? Pinto or Borlotti? Uh, I mean, for white beans, there's cannellini beans. There's navy beans. I'm, I'm, I haven't looked too much into... Uh, into the the health of the other beans but I, I i remember reading downsides about all of them generally uh when there's color to a product there's something in it this one was silly five star review for the wild boar bacon as expected cooked in the air fryer on dehydration mode for 2.5 hours at 150 degrees best boar jerky <laughs> Uh, this email was sent to me last week. Uh, that poor girl is probably still trying to chew that same piece of wild boar jerky. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, we, we cut it pretty thin. I'm sure it's delicious. Five-star view for the grass-fed Wagyu beef tallow. Wow, great tasting meat. I ordered some of the Wagyu beef and tallow and had the great taste that I fully expecting being grass-fed. I also ordered some of their dog food. My dogs loved it as well. Thank you for the great service and price. 
Then we got a five star reef for the natural collagen. That was the what we showed you guys was on organ supplements earlier. I love the collagen, it tastes great. Other collagen supplements taste synthetic. Good stuff. All right, finally done. So now I can go home and lay in my bed in slight pain. <laughs> oh, God, help me. All right, guys, yeah, I got some stuff to do today and I want to have a reasonable lunch time. So uh, that should be everything. If you guys haven't checked out the website, we got always new stuff on there and anything you guys want to try out. As I said, we're giving away the collagen broth for free. Uh, we got recorder beef shares available. Uh, that beef blood fertilizer, I don't know what you guys want to use it for. We'll try to make sure it's liquid next week. And uh, I didn't show you guys because we kind of did last week, but the kitchen equipment is is almost set up. Hopefully it's set up by this weekend or next week, and then I can start cooking some stuff for you guys. And uh, there's costs so much it costs i think it costs more to install that stuff than pay for the equipment but go figure uh yeah i mean this week has not been easy uh i was feeling kind of crappy from the eye surgery and it's like my eyes are dry and irritated but i don't know what i was thinking getting in that tanning bed M my vitamin d was low and i was having some really bad urinary problems and i knew that you know vitamin d is important for kidney function so as soon as I took the vitamin D and went in the bed, urinary problems fixed itself basically overnight, but I forgot how strong those bulbs were. So now I'm basically, if I didn't get in that tanning bed, I'd be feeling a whole lot better. But hopefully in a day or two, we're, uh, we're all healed up and I can walk normally. All right, thanks again for joining, guys. frank .com. You guys can see all the businesses, the meat, foods, organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals. And I forgot to make this joke at the beginning of the vlog, but... Look, eventually, one of two things has to happen, right? You guys are going to continue to support me. I'm going to put all these other greedy cocksuckers out of business. And then, there's two paths. One, I get a nice wife and grow these, like, beautiful seven-foot-tall children. Like, don't you guys want to see that? Don't you? Like, come on. You guys want to see that, right? The rate we're going, I'm already 31 years old. Who knows if it's ever going to happen? I should have kids already. But look, come on. Don't you? Come on, we need to do our little little alien experiments. Or, or, things could take a dark turn, and I could end up in a mansion, and the, how, many, how many countries are there in the world? I don't know. But in that mansion, we will have one room for every country themed with girls in it. So we'll have like a Puerto Rican, and sorry ladies for being crude, but we'll have like one room with Puerto Rican girls, we'll have one room with Colombian girls, and we'll, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, we'll have a mansion, and for each ethnicity, whatever I feel like during that day, I can go to Japan, I can go to China. It'll be like a nice themed room, and there'll be... <laughs> How ridiculous would that be? That could be a comedy skit, bro. That'd be a big mansion, too. You'd, like, have halls and halls, and each door would have a flag from the... <laughs> All right, guys. Let me, let me, let me go before I incriminate myself any further.